Hello, one and all, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance with me, Fairex. Once again, thank you very much for all of your helpful comments, hints, and tips that I've received, and uh, I shall try and remember at least half of them. Currently, we are waiting around because we have a job to patrol the town. And the idea being that Henry is from Skelets, and we have a lot of uh, refugees from Skelets, and we kind of not really causing trouble, but more of a disturbance, really. You know, there's lots of beggars, an influx of beggars and homeless people into the town, which will you know, probably result in an increase in crime eventually. You know, petty crime like stealing and stuff, which, of course, in the Middle Ages was serious crime, and where well, you get hands locked off and stuff for that. I don't know. But anyway, so we're uh, waiting around. Uh, and we're actually kind of here on time. Our main quest says that we have to be get there between uh, 11 and 9. And as you can see, we are in the correct place. We're supposed to be in here. Um, let's do so. But I'm curious about whether people actually move here or whether they'll just spawn in. Currently, there's no one here. So I can only assume that they will arrive. Hello. Okay. Take care. Okay, nothing there. May the Lord watch over you. I'm sure he does. Actually, go up there, maybe. It'll say a private area, won't it? Okay, let's have a little. Might be able to get a uh, a view of uh, the, the the area and stuff. We might as well do some. Oh, really? Is that it? What a tease! Oh yes, you can go up to the stairs, but you can't actually go. What's the point? You might as well have just blocked it off down here to save someone modelling all those stairs. Ah, there's somebody. A guard. Is that who we're supposed to be following? Sorry, just looking at the... Uh, compass up there. Hmm. It is now 11, I think. Uh, yeah, it's past 11. So... Tell me to go there. I'm in the right place. Maybe I should... Uh... Oh, wait. Maybe I'm supposed to talk to you. Now you are the same guard, aren't you? Nightingale. Alright. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You're too early. We'll meet in the afternoon down by the church. Alright. Oh. Well, that makes no sense. I mean, unless I'm reading the clock wrong, obviously. I can't even find right now. Oh, it's currently all right. I was looking. This I was, that was this is the time. What's this then? I suppose that is how long I would rest if I was to do so. Okay, so I'm all right. I'm gonna wait. Well, I'm here on time at least. Let's just uh, affirm a few things. So the uh, the herbalist. I'm gonna pick a nettle. We can make some tea. Um, it will get freshened up. Is here, I believe. B, B, Shop guard. This is well, like a tra a tailor, isn't it? Yeah, this is not the herbalist. Fancy shirt! One by rich and poor alike. Well, it's not fancy if the poor. Wear it. Is it? I will not wash myself. Oh, well, this is here. 
Here's the herbalist. Oh, the apothecary, yeah. Same, Heavens same. Land. Same but different. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. Yeah, I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. So, I owe you... About that debt. So, ah, yeah, just, just get rid of it. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honour. Is there anything else I can do for you? Because a Henrister always pays his debts. There we go, reputation gains. So now maybe we can, well, I wonder if time is actually passing in the game as we do this. I know it's not much time, but, uh, how do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Well, curious. Ha! Don't even talk to me about it. I wish that rabble was gone. I know they've met with misfortune, but here they do nothing but thieve and make problems. Probably because they're starving, though. I think that uh, that my character will um, have a great deal of empathy towards uh, the people of Skelets, being that he is one of them. And sure, he's done a little bit better, but that was only due to circumstance. And as we know, Henry doesn't really feel that he's done anything particularly brave or um, heroic yet, so um, he's not going to think he's any better of them, he's just met with good fortune. So that's the way I'm going to play this as we go into the game. Let's just talk to Trade and see what he has. So some buffing type things. Antidote, but doesn't cure food poisoning. Be like Achilles. Okay, these are all kind of really expensive but really good, I think. I'm not going to look at all of them. I can buy some cobwebs here. Interesting. A digestive. And cures food poisoning. But yeah, well, uh. This threw you stomach. I thought it would do the opposite. I thought it would actually make you throw up. Hence the minus 40 in, um. Or 20 in nourishment. But anyway. Lots of recipes and things. Lots of things to learn and stuff. And well. It will take a little while. Although if I go into, say, get rid of that, go into what stuff is worth, then have a look at what i So we're looking at sort of got salt's worth quite a bit, uh, belladonna wormwood. So if I look at what is worth quite a lot, because I can probably sell him. I'm going to get rid of these. These are part of um, the DLC. I'm just going to drop them somewhere. I'm not going to sell them. I am just going to drop them. Because what they lead to is quite overpowered, apparently. So, like in Dragon Age, I'm just going to uh, drop them. Now, apparently I do have... So I could maybe sell the... Yeah, I could sell these to him if I wanted to. It's not worth anything, of course. But now I kind of know what is worth stuff. Or at least have a vague idea. Superior, you know, like Belladonna and Wormwood and Sage. Mints up there. There's, there's Thistle. Um... When I was younger, I couldn't say thistle. I kept saying thistle. Anyway, there's alchemy to uh, try out. How is it now? All right, we're about back on time. I'm guessing that time did actually pass as we were talking to that dude. Look at me, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and ready for the day. You're too early. We'll meet in the afternoon down by the church. All right. Very prompt, aren't they? I suppose. Let's have a good union or something, you know. I say, we will not start until we absolutely have to. All right. Maybe there's some... Um, I can have a little look at... Balcony. Balcony. The balcony. That's what it is. Coming out of sump there. That's good. Is there anything to take in there to take? I wouldn't have thought so. No more nettles. People said that I took everything that wasn't worth anything with poppies and various flowers. But I just don't know what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take this little time. Trample all over the graves. Yeah, I doubt dandelions are worth that much either. Let's see if there's anything kind of in here. Yeah, but it doesn't look like the whole lot. Well, what is actually gatherable? What isn't? Yeah, 
of free stuff. Free stuff. Oh my god, I'm going into... <laughs> just steal stuff instantly. That wouldn't work too well, would it? I'm a guard, so I can do what I want now. I can, I can go in guard towers. That's because I'm a guard, right? Ah, okay. It looks like this guy's heading over there. Shall I join him? I wonder if I have to wear a proper uniform or... Uh, I, keep... I hope not, because I sold a lot of stuff and no one said anything, so... Okay, here we go. I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. <laughs> Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I um I thanked her. Ah. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Trip. I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Well, this should don't be forget. kind of... I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Speaking of that. Let's go. I have done that. Let's equip our uh, club. Good. This is our church, St. Matthew's. Upslock. Upslock. Ah. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The grave digger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. Hmm. Alright, getting a bit of a tour here. Lay of the land. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? Size of counts. The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. Of course. By Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. Sure, that's entirely this uh, was brand new in autumn, correct. And two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? Okay, here we go. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. I see. I'm glad that I, I have time to look at this at least. So how is she bothering you? Do you have a right to beg? Yourself Christian? Drive the beggar away. Should let us stay. I'll just leave it. Okay, well, that's that's a no. So this is like accusing the armorer of being a bad person. This is saying you really should let her stay, but I don't think that's the way. I don't think I should drive her away either. But I don't know Jane. I don't think. So I th let's do with this one. Must you sit here of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Not an answer. Fog drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. What's the problem here? <laughs> this is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. 
She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to pick from. Good idea. Yeah, so this is, this is, you know, a very... I thought I'd just drive away. I think that's, that's a pretty good idea. Just, just move along to the square. Yeah, that's, I think that's what I'll do. I don't know, standing up. Ooh, tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, so what would what would Henry do? He'd probably do this one, you know. He'd probably do this one. I don't think it's the right choice because I don't want to annoy the armorer who's probably going to, you know, supply me with my armor. But uh, I think that Henry's a, a, a good sort and thinks that you should be able to beg whatever she wants. I'll give her that one. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Oh. Might be. Might not. Ah. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From yeah. the Armour here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's mm. true. What would you know about it? I kind of want to, um... I get a plus three there. Let's see. I could just I could just give her some stuff, but that's not really solving the problem. Hmm. I kind of, after that conversation, I just kind of want to move her on, but that's not an option anymore. Because I think that, you know, all right, you've had some out of him, go on to the next one type thing, you know. You sort of, like, got, got what you need out of this guy. But now I can't make them. So we can go halves, but I don't really want to do that either, to be honest. But I don't want to give her anything, and I don't think this one will work, so I'm going to do this one. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. Yeah. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Jesus. You're as bad as each other. I think that went okay. Don't you? He's not said anything, so I'm assuming so. Caps lock. Yeah, I keep Your thinking shift. Are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Zahans Capon. I wouldn't do that. Sir Hans's uh, father, old Sir Yeshke, yeah. may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Okay. Doggy! Wuff, 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 wuff. Wait up! <laughs> Still faster than me. Good old NPC escort quest, but now of course I'm the NPC! Square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folks from all around. I'm sure it's lovely. Absolutely glorious. I'm glad I paid my debts off. And I did improve my reputation as well. Probably only with the herbalist, but it's best to get that out of the way, isn't it? We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. 
I okay. heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. That doesn't sound a bit, a bit unfair, doesn't it? Look here. On the books, See everything that else. Filthy beggar! By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Um. Oh boy. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, the castle. all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. <laughs> There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Oh, goody. Oh, but for work. Yeah, I get it. Well, I don't want to throw people out of there and then... then have to Let's go there for a drink afterwards. Very nice. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Hey. What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalix. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. Obviously. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. He's not going to go, oh yeah, no, I was just joking. Ha! <laughs> that would be, that'd be a little unfair. A little bit. Anyway, what next? What next? What next? Trouble? No trouble? No trouble. Good. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. Yeah, this a lot lord of... here, that lord there, this yeah. exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. Yeah, probably. This tower Hopefully. was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Yes, the armory. Yes, but it's going to take me about a year to play this game, so I'll probably be able to understand it eventually. I'm going up there sometime. We're going to go up there? I'd like to go up there. Can we go up there? I want to go up there. Let me get rid of that nettle for you. That looks painful. Why do you even kneel there? What on earth? God, I didn't even bear thinking about if I am. Oh, God. Why? Not a good place to beg that, though. Like a side street near some dung. Not, you're going to get a lot of footfall there, are you? This is better. But he's allowed there, isn't he? But the other person wasn't allowed there. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Ah. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? 
Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty. So he <laughs> went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Talk or knock. Horsey! Good horsey. Ah, yes. That would be him. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the <laughs> gate? No. Oh, Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Uh, Coming. I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff, or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Not in a hurry, is he? You still had a bite of that chicken, I don't blame you. Leave that left, and he. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. What? How? That's a little. Wait a minute! <laughs> but we're supposed to be on, on duty. He's supposed to be on duty, and he gets his ass kicked. We're going to have a drink. And then, oh, let's go and have a drink. What? How does that work? How does that even. How does that even. Here. Uh, well, uh, Okay. All, over again. Okay. all right okay fine we're gonna play dice are we i hope not that fool got me all worked up indeed shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking you're eager aren't you don't worry even watchmen are entitled to a break it's been like 20 minutes the gate in the tower of course but that's enough about that let's not let it spoil our day Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, oh, no. how about a little game? Um, I am really good at this. Uh, sorry. Now I, I also just don't not want to do it because I don't understand it and I don't I I just I know I'm never gonna understand it if I don't play it. But um I just don't think that Henry would want to play games and stuff. He seems like a pretty serious sort. Like, he played games in his past, as we saw, you know, and, you know, when he was a Jack the Lad, but now things have moved on. So, I don't think I am going to yeah, play games, I'm afraid. Sorry. I'd rather not. We should go back on duty. Yes. All right. If you're so keen, let me finish my ale at least. Got one. Nice. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. Mm. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Oh, I Here, know. Take this one. I know that. So that was made abundantly clear to me. I have uh, completed that. Hooray. So, yeah, you know, we got a... Uh, Big sense of duty. Where am I going? I think. Yes, clear off, you lots. You rabble. Not sure that I'm going the right way. Thought it was so. And he doesn't want to get in trouble, basically. Henry is, uh, you know, he's he owes a lot of favours to people who he's, in essence, working for. So he doesn't really want to, you know, be drinking and stuff and playing games when he when he should be on duty. You know, maybe if there's a big enough outcry in the comments, Henry will start playing games in his own time. But I'm pretty sure it's something we could, you know, be able to do without. I played uh, a lot of games in The Witcher 2. The Witcher 2 or The Witcher? Yeah, it must be The Witcher 2. You are without a torch! Carolina? Why can't I accuse her of heresy and stuff? You are also without a torch, and you are also without a torch, and you, and you. You're fine. Well done, Talisman. 
And you? And why, why, why do all these people get to be walking around without torches and I have to be like, Oh, why do you have a torch? Or maybe it's only up there. Ah, oh, where is it? All right, yeah. Bell. Bell. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, this tavern is... I like how this, because it's... It's, uh, it's sort of showing you where places are as well, in, in a very immersive kind of way. It's saying this is here and that's there. Um, and I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. It's, it's good. It's very immersive, is the word I was thinking of, rather than good. Good, good is not a particularly great word to use at that point, but yes. Uh, it is a very immersive way to show you around town and show you what's what and how things work and everything. And now we're going to get into trouble, I can tell. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk. <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> now, now, now we can, we can oh, see, no. see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off. To look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to... Pigs and pallets. God <laughs> save them, bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. <laughs> oh, is he here? Or is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> No! Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, well, he's, he's drunk. I can use that to my advantage. Come and get it. Hell if I beat this guy up. Really? Right, I need to. Yeah. So the 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 clinching thing, the grappling thing, whatever it is, I need to get on that. Okay. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the, in the face. Punch him. Punch him in the. Get him in the fire. Yeah, get him in the fire. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Okay, well, we've blooded him. Definitely worth it. I can't go. Oh, God, this is. This is gonna... I won, but it's not going to end well for us, is it? Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? <laughs> well, answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson by rolling around in the mud like a hog. That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days... Drinking and chasing wenches. 
which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. <laughs> Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Oh, Henry. You did the right thing, man. You did the right thing. Your heart's in the right place. I completed the objective as well. Grand. Well, I guess we can go to bed now. It's been a long day. I actually healed during that fight. That's how bad that dude was at fighting. I actually healed while fighting him. Uh, uh dawn. Okay, then. And I guess that is definitely this dawn. You're not the innkeeper. Jesus Christ be praised. Look, right? Look, right? You're not supposed to be trading. So I can... I That's naughty. Let's not do it. Let's, let, let's not. Let's not. Let's, uh... The Lord watch over you. Let's go to bed. Um... I have to go all the way out the camp. Hope I'm able to... What time is it? Okay. Alright. So let's... Whether it's quicker to... It's probably quicker to run there. We're going to run home. Home. To our, uh... Bed. bed there. It's the only bed we got. There are now more quests popping up, pit tipsters and stuff, but uh, I like how they don't give they don't give you the quests, but they know people who have quests. But I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm going to uh it's got a lot you know, enough of my plate. Run back there. Uh then go back up there. Morning. After hopefully some breakfast. I am now hungry, but you know. Uh, in a bucket home. So we need to get up as soon as possible. Been a long day. And I think this will be quicker. Um, and uh, that's traveling. In terms of time passed in the game, not in terms of the video. So apologies, everybody, for you having to watch this. I feel necessary. Where, uh, uh, you know, to get a good night's rest before, before dawn, basically. Dawn is not long away, so I'm probably going to be tired tomorrow. Don't stop and pick up daisies and stuff. Get home. I'm going to call it home, because that's... You know, home is where you lay your head. So... You know, my home is, is is blackened pile of ash and cinders, so now this is my home. Plus I'm training my athletics, right? Right? Yeah. I'm just gonna like almost pass out. We're gonna go to bed hungry and then I feel quite hungry. I know, I know, I just what did I say? Why I just oh wait a minute. Where's where, where are we? Where, what are we doing? Okay, yeah, just checking. Just checking. It feels quite hungry. We're gonna go to bed hungry. We're gonna fill our belly in the morning. Still awake? Oh, okay. Don't mind me, just going to bed real quick. Uh, I should have. Wasting time, wasting time. Oh no, sleep. Okay, good. Should well, I can save it manually. Uh, I want to sleep for... Five hours? We need to get up there. 
I reckon this is this is on, isn't it? So I've given myself that long to uh, get sorted and stuff. So that's five hours, which isn't that long, but uh, it's all we've got. So. Our energy is 100, so that should be fine. This pot better be uh, full. Oh no, I can't. Keep pressing E to get up. I'm sure, like many people do that. <laughs> Escape. Good morning. I am going to court you in a bit. Right now, I'm a bit. Okay, fine. You haven't prepared breakfast. I shall not caught you. And as I said, I... Um, what else is this do? Eat the water. Okay, that's not like it. Salami. Dried meat. Okay, we don't have much. We'll have the dry fruit. Right, we need, we need to get some more... Uh, oh, dear. I got a skull and crossbones. Oh dear. I've eaten something bad. Um, Where's like, you know, where can I just like find stuff that shows me about what I have? It's like general stuff. Oh, that's reputation. No. Cool. Um, we should really try and Uh, looking for I can't find it now I don't, I don't think I can learn them where's the one that lets me uh Always win those sort of wrestling things. Ah, it doesn't matter. Can't use these anyway, so meh, it's fine. Hello. One of these. Uh, that's it. So I think I'm gonna get that. So we'll learn that. This gives me a uh, 5% high chance of overpowering your opponent in the clinch. So let's uh, let's get that. I have another as well. So probably mule. Learn that as well. Okay. I'll do for now. Okay, I've got food poisoning. It looks like I am not feeling very well. That was a mistake, but then mistakes have to be made to uh, avert them in the future. I'm sure we'll be fine. We just have a minor buff in everything. Buff, uh, you know what I mean, the opposite of a buff. <clears throat> It'll be okay. It'll be fine. All right, let's, uh, we, I think I can probably safely fast travel here. Let me, come on. Let me, let me, what I'm trying to do. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, I'll run. Fine. Oh, no, maybe it's because it was. Ah, yes, the scales we've got around here and there and everything. Oh, it's because I've got to. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's just slightly past where we're supposed to be. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Going to get there on time. And we don't have food poisoning anymore. So that's dandy. We don't have any food either. That's not so good. But I am here on time. It is not even dawn yet. So keeping my... Uh, Appointments. Time management. I like that. Let's steal this horse. Okay, we can't, we can't steal the horse. My immersion. Hello. 
Yeah, this is going to be an interesting day, Henry. This is going to be a very interesting day. Is that who we're supposed to meet? I'm supposed to meet. Well, I'm here on time, right? Hey. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Yeah. Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Good luck to you. Okay. I learned woods. Woods. Well, all right, I'll trot on left behind you. It's great. Uh, I'm really hungry. Can I have some? <laughs> wow, that's uh, interesting. What on earth is going on there? And how do I? What do I do to change that? Got a motion bl motion blur thing going on there. Well, hopefully you don't. What? Let's go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Blacksmith. Hopefully he doesn't do that. Basically. This with the dogs. Dogs legs. All right. Well, we're gonna look at that. Everything else is fantastic. Let's not look at the one thing that's wrong. That's that's really 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 strange. We're just gonna keep them just out the field of view there. And uh, so we know the dogs are there, but we're not Look really. Here, About that business at the ale house. Yes, yes sir. sir. Hannes was right. I should have behaved differently, more, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just. What? Speak up. Don't worry. I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished, like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Okay, that was good of him, wasn't it, doggies? Yeah, that was that was that was pretty good of him. That sort of eased the tension a little bit. Maybe he's not so bad, you know. I like these complex characters as well, you know. Like he seems like a bit of a brat, but he didn't have to do that, did he? He didn't have to. Let us apologize. talk something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind, yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can, sir. Ah. Maybe we should give this a save. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, doggies? Is something important's going to happen? Then we'll get ambushed and I save his life and then he's like, Oh, you're so awesome, Henry. I love you. Yes, maybe that. I guess that food poisoning we had was just very, very minor. Very, very slight. Listen, we got away with it. I wanted to ask you about scallops. Well, I don't know if... Um, that is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. Ooh. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The humans attacked scallops and... Um, didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. 
If you wish, sir. And don't dilly dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Not even started yet. Oh, okay. We're covering the map. We're covering the map. We're covering the map. Oof. That is quite a long way we've just gone, I think. Furthest we've ever been away from home, I reckon. I wouldn't know that really, no, I'm just kind of assuming that Henry hasn't really been out much. He wanted to go exploring and stuff, didn't he, when uh, when we met him, he was like, I need to go and see the world, so I'm guessing he hadn't really that much. It's really nice, the butterflies, the bird song, violet's already lit. Mind if I, uh, okay. I am but a gopher, it seems. I got bacon. Right, see ya! No, okay. Coming up, sir. At long last! Uh, deliver. Deliver. No. Confirm delivery. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow, and huh. sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time, even study is more interesting. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, I mean, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? But... <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So... Tell me about Scallops. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. Yeah, let's open up. Let's, 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 let's chat. Might do us some good. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scallops, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. 
Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. I didn't know this was a camping trip. I have brought no food. You did not tell me. Have you got any food in here? I'm going to starve to death soon. Oh. Me? I just... Okay, thanks. I feel better. Um, we have a new bow, it seems. Very light bow and a village's ash bow, which... Uh... Ah, oh, it seems to be better. Can I... I can sleep and save. Alright, I think we shall, and call it an episode there. I shall, um, start by sleeping and saving, because the next day could start with a cutscene and everything, and I don't want to start, you know, end the video on a cutscene that would be relevant to the next video. So, just in case, a uh, little sit with their hands here and uh, we shall continue the video next time. But yeah, I kind of like how our, our um, relationship with this guy, how it's you know, you think he's going to be a villain and he still might be, to be fair. Those mushrooms. But um, then, you know, we get chatting and stuff, we get put in a situation where we need to be together for a period of time. Turns out that maybe you might just get along. And, well... May maybe we're doing that. Maybe that's what we're doing. I'm not sure. We are not punching each other in the face. We are not trying to kill each other with swords. So that, I think, is an improvement over... ...general... ...what we've seen before. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I certainly am. Cannot wait to play again. I leveled up. I'm still not um, making a, a buffer yet because there's still so much more for me to learn and I, I want your comments to have some bearing on what I'm doing. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of holding back on, on really playing this full on. I mean I might never um, play it full on and create a big buffer but I, I yeah I, I want your your comments to mean something. Like me finding the herbalist in this episode. I probably wouldn't have done that if I had a buffer. I'd have to go back to Scarlet's and then do it. But I'm glad that we did that. Because now that I've got all my debts settled. So. Good. For me. Alright then I think that's all the mushrooms and stuff we can find. At a quick glance. I shall see you all. Next time. I hope. Thank you very much for watching. Keep those comments and stuff coming in. And I shall see you next time. Until then. Take care. Thank you very much, and toodling.